Hey Aries, welcome to your weekly love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from today, September 2nd to the 11th. Happy Labor's Day if you get to watch this on Labor's Day. So for my newbies, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it could be energy that you're experiencing directly or someone who's uh, in your environment or someone who's energetically attached to you. Keep in mind, it's energy, it can be vice versa. Okay, so let's talk about this meditative session, Aries. Oh, Aries. You're swinging around the sword of truth, okay? <laughs> like, hands down, you're swinging around the sword of truth. You're telling people what's what. You're cutting people down with their words, and you really couldn't give a shit, <laughs> okay? And I have to be honest, Aries, it feels like you've been put in a corner. Hold on, this feels a little bit too. There we go. That's better. Oh, yeah, that's better. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It feels like you've been backed into a corner. It almost feels like you feel you have no choice. It feels very much like oh no, I need to say something about this. You know, it feels very much like that kind of energy. I feel like Aries, and keep in mind this all could be vice versa, but it's this energy of being held back. I feel like you have you feel that you've been kept back from an opportunity. Um, even if it's something that's been promised to you and it's been kind of in the works, you've been kind of working on it and expanding it, but you haven't reached like that pinnacle point <laughs> pinnacle pentacle <laughs> point of really feeling like you have this opportunity in the bag or or that it's truly yours in its entirety it's just this energy of like like ugh, i thought i had it oh no is it wait maybe it's almost like someone's been playing keep away with it and you've had enough okay i feel like it has become a bit of a toxic energy a bit of a devilish energy and aries i feel like you're exploding i gotta be honest i feel like you're you've been in this place of like why do I feel always like a little inch away, a little inch away, a little inch away? Maybe I can get there. Maybe, 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 maybe. I'm like thinking of like, how can I do this really? How can I pull this off? How can I really finally claim this as my own or really show them that it's actually mine um, or just be enjoying my 10 of pentacles, right? And now you're at a place where that frustration has boiled over and I feel a little bit of an explosion and I feel some words being said. I feel some ace of sword, some swords being thrown around, okay? I just... Just calling it like I feel it, Aries. Um, but I don't think you have anything to worry about, Aries. I feel like you will get this opportunity, but there is something about you making this stance or really speaking your truth, really speaking your mind against this devilish toxic energy that's been keeping you or playing keep away with your Ten of Pentacles or like long-standing security opportunity is kind of what I want to call it, is going to be working wonders for you. I really think it's actually going to help, but just be mindful on who you end up cutting, okay? You might get some innocent bystanders in there somewhere, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, Aries, I was also picking up a very soft energy, too. A very, very soft energy. A very yummy, like almost like watery, cancerian kind of energy. Very Something like very sweet, very soft. I feel... Is this like part of your plan? What is this? All of a sudden I saw like a business plan. Like I literally saw like a formatted business plan like being shoved in my face. So Aries... All this, like, my opportunity playing keep away, keep away, I feel like for most of you, this is in the work environment. I feel like for most of you, this is in your career, in the form of your money or your pentacles. I feel like some of you, this is even a legal battle to some extent, where it's like, you go to court, you think it's the last day, and then it's like, what the fuck, there's another court date? Like, you know, it's like, and it's been really aggravating you because you know you're going to win this. Yeah, okay, this is download for someone, clearly. You know you're going to win this court case, but you're like, this person wants to keep dragging this out. You want to keep dragging this out? Fine, we'll just drag it out till till, till we're dead. It's like, because you're not giving up, but you are at that point where you're about to explode, Aries. So just keep yourself in check and just watch that, all right? For those in that court case scenario that I just picked up on, don't know what the hell that was about. But this soft energy, I feel like this is an energy that like you've had in the back of your mind, you've had on your mind. It's almost like, uh, still there? Uh, is it still there? Like... <laughs> like you've been so focused on how to get whatever's been kept away from you or whoever's playing keep away with your money or your career or this opportunity you've been really really focused on that this is very specific for some areas out there but like I feel like a soft watery like energy that like you check in on this is interesting I'm picking up on this like very one very specific areas right here I can feel it but you check up on every once in a while uh, uh, maybe uh. And I feel, I gotta be honest, it feels like a, like a romance opportunity that you want to manifest. It really does feel that way because it just feels so healing and yummy and warm and sweet and like yum, 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 yum. Um, and you can't like not stop checking in on it. It's very interesting. It's like, it's definitely a sub priority for you, whatever it is, like you're here, you're here, you're focused on your money. It could just be love in general. It could just be like spirit going, hey, 
you've been ignoring love for a long time. You know, it could be that. It could be something as benign as that. Because at the end of the day, to have a balanced life, we need to make sure that all, all aspects of our lives are balanced. Even if this loving, warm energy is self-love, right? Even if it's just self-love. It doesn't have to be a relationship specifically. But we need to make sure that we're checking in on ourselves, our emotional selves, our physical selves, our 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 mental capacities you understand what i'm saying it's like we need to make sure we're checking in on those aspects of ourselves all the time to make sure we're balanced and living a balanced life and aries i think you've been so caught up in whatever this is whoever's been playing keep away keep away with your money or your job opportunities or what have you that your attention's being drawn to other things that really need paying attention to whether it is just your own emotional state your self-love or maybe even um, a lover of yours a spouse of yours or even friends or family of yours that you care a lot about um, or just emotions okay all right Aries I know that was that felt like a therapy session uh, let's go ahead and get into this reading uh, for those who are new to my channel, actually, I just, I can't do this intro anymore. I'm just being real with you guys. <laughs> I can't do this intro anymore. If you have any questions or curiosities or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, please check out the link below. It can be vice versa. It can apply to more than love. Do not get caught up on the gender. It ain't for everybody because I can't read for everybody at once. Okay, we're good. We're good, Aries. I know I can be like that with you. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Any messages for Aries? Regarding love from now until September 11th. Any messages for Aries regarding love from now until September 11th? Any messages for Aries regarding love from now until September 11th? Any messages for Aries regarding love from now until September 11th? Okay. Any messages for Aries regarding love from now until September 11th? Any messages for Aries regarding love? Oh boy, you got a lot of cards here, Aries. The world, I love it. Fixed energy. So Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Also Saturn and Jules Capricorn. Whole new cycle starting here. Some of you could definitely be doing a lot of traveling. I feel a lot of driving. Excuse me. Sorry. My bad. I feel a lot of driving. Uh, Knight of Swords, Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> King of Wands. So sorry, guys. When I channel a lot, I guess I'm starting to burp a lot, too. King of Wands, Leo energy could also be air or fire with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, someone feels neglected. Sorry, I'm just feeling that really strong. Someone feels neglected here. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy could also be earth or uh, water with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is so interesting, Aries. I'm like, why am I seeing like three components to this one line? Hold on a second. It's actually messing with my, my vision. I'm seeing three components to this. So Aries, just looking at this line alone, let's look at these two components first of all. Aries, this is an energy of explosion, so to speak, okay? If this is vice versa, Aries, it's vice versa because it feels very, very, very masculine energy. And Aries, it could just be you're harnessing your masculine energy, but just keep in mind, you know, it can't be vice versa because I know a lot of my viewers are more feminine dominant energies. This person who's exploding has their back turned to this. And what did I just say about whatever it is like you need paying attention to? Your family, your loved ones, emotions, a new love interest, old love and whatever, what have you, love for yourself. Someone feels neglected here. And with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, I feel a very much like stuck in tar kind of energy. Someone's feeling very neglected. Someone's feeling like they have their back and they need to have their back turned to you is actually what I'm getting. They need to have their back turned to you. They need to have their back turned to you while you're exploding here. <laughs> exploding and fighting, thank you, for your pentacles. Fighting for your new beginning. Fighting for the end game, right? Like I said, for some of you, it's a court case and you're just so focused. It's like, I need this, I need this, I need this. This is gonna be over. It's gonna be over. Fuck, it's not over. That's okay. One more court date, one more court date. Okay, I got another one. All right, I can handle that. That's cool. I can handle that. That's fine. Whatever this game of keep away is, you're exploding, Aries. It's like you've had it. You're tired of the games. You're tired of playing keep away. You've signed the contracts. You've done the little milestones. You've jumped through, you've jumped through the hoops. Whatever it is you've had to do. I feel like, for, again, for a lot of you, I feel like this is work and money related. You're like, I need this because this new chapter needs to start like now. I need to wrap this shit up. 
I, I need my, my Ten of Pentacles. I need you to stop playing keep away with my opportunity because this needs to happen now. All the while, someone has been kind of neglected, Aries. I'm just being honest here. Someone's been neglected in this situation, which is why they feel, they they this person feels like they've been stuck in tar because they feel like you've been so focused there and not focused there, okay? This can even be someone's mom. Again, it doesn't have to be a love interest, but it's someone in the realm of your emotions or emotional relating that feels neglected, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Any other messages for Aries? Any other messages for Aries regarding love? From now until September 11th. Any other messages for Aries regarding love? From now until September 11th. All right, we got one other card out here. Ooh. Oh, we have two cards out here. Okay. Okay, good. I like this. Four of Swords. <laughs> Libra energy. With a seven of swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. This is someone looking back on old crimes, old crimes of the past, okay? Um, and like I said, for some of you, it's like this game of keep away. You've been fucking over it, right? And this is you trying to meditate on it, trying to regain perspective, trying to calm down too is also what I'm getting. Just trying to stay calm. Trying to stay calm, trying to calm down on whatever it is you feel slighted by in this situation, whether it's just the game of keep away or you've actually had to go to court for something or really fight against something. Um, and Aries, I do gotta be honest, I do feel some kind of poking at you, like more than just the game of keep away. I do feel some poking. <sighs> it's messing with your solar. It's been aggravating. Whatever this poking is, I feel like you've been poked at. Criticized? Yeah, I feel like you've been poked at and criticized a lot. Either way, you're trying to gain perspective on this whole situation, <laughs> okay? And you're trying to stay calm and you're trying to like be the bigger person. You're trying to. You're trying to. You're trying to. This Queen of Pentacles keeps jumping out at me. This Queen of Pentacles might have done something or might do something to try to get your attention because they feel so neglected. So keep that in mind. Yeah, for some of you, that's definitely the case. Keep that in mind. Overall energy, we have Ten of Swords. I know. <laughs> Gemini energy. Like I said, you want the keep away to be over. You want keep away to be over. You want your opportunity. You want it now. You want it now. Now just now let's just stop the fucking games now please now sorry i'm really channeling your aries energy right now i'm also getting that this is pain like but in emotional sense too though definitely pain in emotional sense too aries i'm just being honest some of you might actually lose this queen to some extent in the realms of emotional relating because you've been so focused on this okay so just keep that in mind underneath that we do have oh this is interesting Underneath the Ten of Swords, we have the Queen of Swords. Libra energy could also be air or water. Definitely some of you could be going through a divorce. Definitely. With a Queen of Pentacles in reverse, it's like that is like usually a spouse that's really not happy, like a disloyal spouse, someone who's kind of started focusing on them because they feel neglected or just focusing on them just because they simply want to. And as we know, this is usually the, the divorce card. Some of you definitely could be going through a divorce or separation here. And then we have the Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy, Kelsey, Pisces, or Scorpio. And then we have... Eight of Cups, Piscean Energy, with the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, my pre-Empress card, and being very single. Being very single. So this is how the cards came out. If you see that. Aries, for some of you, this is interesting. Okay, for some of you, especially for those in this court case I keep picking up, or like legal proceedings or some kind of mediation it, it feels legal it feels legal it feels formal it feels like there's contract and paperwork involved where there's a separating of assets so it doesn't have to be divorce maybe it could just be you're separating business relationships right um i feel like this is the person you're separating from okay this is the person you're separating from but at the same time i'm getting this watery energy again with this queen of cups eight of eight of cups and then the the nine of pentacles this is someone who's very nurturing yeah, this feels like two different people. This feels like, it's funny how they're kind of facing each other, right? This feels like two different people, Aries. I really feel like this is someone you're separating from or someone that you're really challenging. Like again, stop playing keep away with my money or keep away with my opportunities or keep just stop, stop playing with me. Just stop playing with me. Just stop playing. Just stop playing. Um, or going through this court proceedings with. I feel like this is the person you're challenging or taking your sword to. And I feel like this is the watery energy, like in your peripheral in your peripheral here again someone who's very nurturing very warm very sweet someone who's also very independent too which I, oh i like that especially with the queen of cups because queen of cups sometimes can lean on codependency but nine of pentacles that's a very 
that's a very standalone, confident energy, someone who's got a lot of stability in their life, a lot of stability. And this person, yeah, Aries, I gotta be honest, I feel like some of you so focused on this, I feel like this person is, is slowly kind of leaving your energy field, slowly kind of leaving. And I think that's why you keep checking, because I think deep down you kind of know. Yeah, deep down you kind of know this person's like, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah, <I'm... laughs> you know, it's like almost like slipping away. Slipping away the longer you deal with this bullshit, which is probably also the reason you're very antsy to get this bullshit wrapped up. I can't believe how much I'm talking. We're only 15 minutes in. Um, which I think is why you're, you're also getting quite heated and frustrated to, to get through this, to finally hit that Ten of Pentacles for this person. I can pick this up. For this person to stop playing keep away. This could even just be a judge or a lawyer because it is a Queen of Swords. So keep that in mind. Like I said, it's mediation. It's mediation. It could be you against a corporation, you against a spouse, an ex-spouse, uh, someone you have children with, someone that you're just caught up in a lawsuit with. The more you focus on that, the more this person's pulling away because they feel neglected. Okay. And they just, they're independent. They're, it's almost like, I got, I got shit to do. I got shit to do. <laughs> okay. That's kind of how this person's feeling. Woo. That was a lot, Aries. So let's break this down a little bit more. Let's look at the world and see what it is you're fighting so hard for. I'm going to use Gilded Tarot for this one. Tell me about the world. For Aries. Regarding love from now until September 11th. Tell me about the world. For the partner of Aries. For the partner of Aries. Oh, that's weird. Interesting. So for some of you, it could be vice versa. Tell me about the world for Aries. Tell me about the world for Aries regarding love from now until September 11th. What is this that Aries is fighting for? What's this world? Oh yeah, there you are fighting. Nine of Wands, Sag Energy, putting in that fight. Magician on the bottom. I like seeing that. Tell me about the world for Aries. Yep, Seven of Wands, Leo Energy. You're not giving up. It's yours. That's how you, it's mine. It's mine. So again, stop fucking with me. It's mine. <laughs> I love you, Aries. I love you to death. Tell me about the world for Aries. Tell me about the world for Aries regarding love. Ooh, lovers in reverse. Gemini energy, also my divine soul connection card. So Aries, I'm actually feeling like more de a decision here. A de well, Okay, decision about connections. Interesting. Okay. Aries, you might be so worked up that you're almost putting too much passion into this. And what I mean by that is you're very worked up and you're very agitated. So again, it's just about keeping yourself in check to make sure you're making the right decisions here. To make sure you're making the right decisions here. Um, I gotta be honest, Aries, I also feel like this is you blocking out love. Whether you mean to or not, or you, and again, emotional relating. It doesn't just have to be romance. But, you know, for, for some, you definitely have a very strong, watery, like watery, earthy energy here. Someone is very grounded and very nurturing. Like water and earth make a very great combination, especially in one being. Um, so Aries, keep that in mind. It's like in this fight, in this fight for your opportunity for your Ten of Pentacles, it feels very Ten of Pentacles like. I wouldn't be surprised if it comes out. You might be blocking out love in the process because you're in such fight mode. So just be mindful of that. And be mindful that you're keeping your self balance and you're keeping your emotions and passions in check here because you're triggered because you're pissed. All right. Time out the world for Aries. Time out the world for Aries regarding love. Yeah, tell me about the world for Aries. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. You're being methodical. Tell me about Aries. Yeah, you're being methodical. Very Aries-like. Oh, yeah. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire with the Queen of Swords. That person you're challenging here, okay? Libra energy could also be Air or Water. You want nothing to do with this person anymore. You want nothing to do with this person. For some of you, it could be a former lover. Again, doesn't have to be. Um... Aries, I, some of you were talking to me, like your passions got you in this problem in the first place. Yeah, so some of you, this is a former lover and passions ran high, turned out, wasn't the person you should be fucking with, okay? 
<laughs> just just is what it is, right? But you want nothing to do with this person. You don't want to deal with this person. You know that nothing can grow between you and this person if it is someone that you're battling out with in court out of a a situation that was intimate, okay? Um, but Aries, I do feel this energy of being strategic though. It's almost like, let me deal with one thing at a time is your strategy with this. Let me deal with getting this win. Let me deal with getting my 10 of pentacles. Let me deal with the person who's playing keep away with my shit and my life and my opportunities. Then I'll address the watery energy over here. Like that's kind of, that's how, that's how it's feeling. Oh, and again, it doesn't just have to be a person. It can also just be paying attention to your loved ones again, or paying attention to your own emotions and your own love for yourself again. Okay. Overall energy, sun in reverse. Yeah. Leo energy. Again, this energy of keep away, it's like you can see it. You can see the freaking sun. You can taste it, but it's just out of your reach. It's just out of your reach, and you're so over it. You're so over the game of keep away, okay? All right. So that being said, your focus is there. Your focus is there, and you're exploding on it. All the while, there's an energy here that's feeling a little neglected. I'm going to look at Wheel of Fortune in reverse because that's the energy of neglect and stagnancy that I'm feeling. So let's look at that. I'm going to use um, spellcasters for this one, and then we'll get into this energy. Okay. Tell me about Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Tell me about Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Tell me about Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Aries regarding love from now until September 11th. Tell me about Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Aries regarding love from now until September 11th. Okay. Oh, okay, that was very quick. Whew, yeah. Four of Wands in reverse, Aries energy, and the Two of Cups. Can't, excuse me, Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy for me as a reader. Yeah, this person feels neglected. This person feels neglected. It's almost an energy of like, are we ever going to have stability? Are we ever going to have a relationship? Like, that's kind of how it feels. If this is someone who you were, like, dating or talking to, they, they feel like it's just never going to happen or come together. If it's, this is someone that you have been committed to, not the person you're challenging in court. Let me be very clear about that. Not the person you're challenging in court. This is more that watery energy that I'm sensing. Just want to be clear. These two people are very different. This is someone who's been put on the back burner. Or again, the energy of emotional relating that's been put on the back burner here. This is the person you're confronting, okay? So Wheel of Fortune Reverse, clarified about this energy. If this is just about emotional relating for you and self-love and all of that, it's really more about when are you going to be able to find stability within your own emotions and within emotional relating and within love in your life and love for yourself, love for your family, your friends, when are you going to be able to get back to that and, and basically enjoy that part of your life again? Not until you deal with this it's in your head. You're like, one thing at a time, I'll get back to that. But that's what this is. And for those where this is someone that you were committed to or someone that you were dating, it's this energy of like, they keep thinking, well, God, is this ever going to come together? I don't think I can keep waiting for this to keep coming together. I can't keep being put on the back burner is how this person's feeling. Which I get, Aries. I got to be honest. I totally understand that feeling. So just keep that in mind, okay? Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Aries. Regarding love from now until September 11th. All right, last card out. Yeah, three of wands in reverse, Aries energy. This 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 queen, this watery, we'll say watery person because it's a lot of water from this person. Uh, epitome of water and earth right here, right? This person feel, it feels like they can't wait. They can't wait. They can't wait. They can't keep it. They feel like I can't keep being put on the back burner. I can't keep feeling ignored. This is either going to happen or it's not. You want to keep fighting this fight, fight the fight. But I have better things to do is literally what this person is is feeling and saying. It just and it's not an attack on you, Aries. It's not. You're clearly going through something that you have to deal with. But this person has to live life, too. Right. This person has to live life, too. And that's what they're going to be doing. They just have a lot of self-love for themselves. It's probably one of the reasons that you like dealing with them. Right. Um, and Aries, like I said, for others. This is a need to really address the emotional relating part of yourself, whether it's just the love you have for yourself or lack thereof, because we can always use more. We can always use more of that, right, Aries? Um, or it's like your friends or your family. 
they want your attention again. They want your attention again for those that resonates with. Overall energy, Hermit in Reverse. Virgo energy, and then we have Eight of Wands underneath that. Ooh, Sag energy, and then we've got the Chariot. Cancerian energy. This is the Queen's energy. This is that watery energy, realizing that, that they might have to take themselves out of the equation, Aries. Eight of Wands in the Chariot, that's a lot of movement. That's like actual travel. They could actually be moving. They could be moving locations. Um, they could just be on the go a lot, but I feel a lot of movement and travel and they're realizing that they need to do that. They can't, they can't wait for this to, to, they can't, they can't, they got it. They have stuff to do. They got a life to live essentially. And again, it's not an attack on you. It's, it's just, it's too much for them. It's just too much for them right now. So then we have the four of swords and the seven of swords in reverse. So let's look at the four of swords and then we'll get some advice here, Aries. I'm going to use steampunk for this one. Actually, I'm going to get water first. <laughs> mm. Okay. Talk about the four of swords. Just for Leo. Talk about the four of swords for Aries. <clears throat> Talk about the four of swords for Aries. Talking about the Four of Swords for Aries regarding love. Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy, some more of that same enlightened energy, right? So I like this Aries because this is enlightenment. This is healing. This is recovering. This is recharging, taking some quiet time. Talking about the Four of Swords. Talking about the Four of Swords for Aries regarding love from now until September 11th. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Tell me about the Four of Swords for Aries. Four of Wands in reverse. Oh, Aries. <sighs> this is you after the battle. This is you realizing, oh shit. I lost my watery person. <laughs> I lost my watery person. Uh, or my friends, family, my loved ones are not as like eager to be as close with me after this battle and it happens Aries it happens it's just a lesson learned and that's okay and again this could all be vice versa Aries you could be the watery person although you're fire but I'm just saying it's like you could be very grounded and secure and just living your life right and like you're like I'm not waiting on you to be dealing with this <laughs> um but anyway anyway Aries bring it back bring it back um also maybe realizing that you need more stability in your life when it comes to the watery part of yourself okay Tell me more about the Four of Swords. Tell me more about the Four of Swords for Aries. Tell me more about the Four of Swords for Aries regarding love. From now until September 11th. Got two other cards out here. Okay. Wow. Aries. Justice. Libra energy. And then we have the Eight of Cups in reverse Piscean energy. Overall, we have the Nine of Cups. Piscean energy. Aries, this is so fascinating. And then we have the Five of Cups underneath that. Scorpionic energy. Yeah, so Aries, like I said, the world is here for a reason. It is yours and you will have it. You will have it and the battle will be fought and the battle will be won, okay? But once that's over, you go into isolation. You go, in, not isolation necessarily, but recovery. You go into recovery, you go into self-reflection, recharging, relaxing, looking back on what you've just been through and you're realizing that some of you lost this watery person as a collateral damage, so to, I guess you can say, so to speak. Some of you are realizing that you need more stability when it comes to your family, your friends, or your your emotional part of yourself, that you need more of that. And you're realizing that... <coughs> Sorry, give me a second. Mm. Mm. And then we have Justice with the Eight of Cups in reverse. And for you, it's like, well, I, I want them back. That's how you feel, like... Like, Justice would be having this watery person back, right? Right? Having this watery person back or, again, addressing the emotional part of yourself, loving on yourself more and really sitting in that. But it's kind of bittersweet, Aries, because overall, like, what you're realizing in this meditative state or this recovery state, that you might have got what you wanted. You won that battle. You won. But then we have a Five of Cups. You kind of lost at the same time. Because you either lost this person or 
you lost that connection to that emotional part of yourself or that self-love that you have for yourself or just the the deep connections that you have with people around you because you've been so entrenched in dealing with with this battle okay and dealing with this this person who wanted to play keep away or this situation of that's my opportunity how can you keep keeping it away from me right it feels very much like a battle feels very much like a battle ongoing very long feel like months months long issue but you win but you can't it's bittersweet it's bittersweet aries oh well, i wasn't hoping it would end there um but let's go ahead and pull some advice honestly i feel like the advice is just to pay attention if you're if your intuition or your guides are being like hey you might want to call that person you might want to text that person i want to check up on that person or hey you might want to check in with yourself emotionally speaking then just try to pay attention to that okay any advice for aries keep in mind this could all be vice versa aries any advice for aries regarding this spread any advice for aries regarding this spread any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Yeah. Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Let's see what we got here. Ooh, wow. All right, Aries. So we have Dragonfly Spirit, Truth Transcends Illusion, 22, a master number. And then we have Stag Spirit, Take the Lead. What is that? 15, 14, 13, 58. That breaks down to a four. So this is interesting, Aries, because Dragonfly is about truth. It is about clarity. It is about intuition. Um, and honestly, it's also about seeing through the bullshit, right? Seeing through the bullshit of this game of keep away. Sorry. I know it gets so itchy when I channel. So you do the bullshit of this game of keep away. Stag spirit is very Aryan. It's very take charge. It's very aggressive, right? Which is what you're doing. You're basically exploding. <laughs> you're exploding in the way that Aries does. Because you see through the bullshit. You see through the bullshit. You know the truth. You know it's yours. And you're going to freaking have it. You're going to have it. And Aries, unfortunately... For some of you at all costs because like i said some of you are losing a watery person in the process of this any advice any advice for aries any advice for aries regarding this spread Any advice for Aries regarding, okay. Oh, koala spirit, spirit has a plan. 35, oh, life lessons. Okay, thank you, that was quick. 35 breaking down to an eight. So success and prosperity. Aries, you're all about success. <laughs> you're all about success. You're all about feeling secure. You're all about feeling confident. You're all about feeling abundant. This is my blueprint card in this deck. So essentially what's supposed to happen and what we're supposed to learn. This is a learn, learned, a word this is a lesson learned for you aries is what i'm getting something that you should have learned on the, on your path okay not necessarily learned already but something that you were actually supposed to learn in this life and this is a lesson learned whether it's something you're learning from the game of keep away that you're having to battle or whether it's something that you learned about emotional relating and and the way that you care about people and the way that you love people and and what's important to you what's important to you i'm not saying what's important period what's important to you okay any other advice for Aries? Any other advice for Aries regarding this spread? <laughs> Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Oh, wow. Now we have Peacock Spirit, let it shine. 46, the cyclical energy. So closing cycles, opening cycles. This cycle will close. The cycle of the fucking keep away. Sorry, I feel your frustration on that. Uh, is ending. It is ending and you're leaving so confident. Look at you. Look at you. And you know what's funny? I see a lot of blue, a lot of green, a lot of water, a lot of earth. Hold on. Where did those cards go? Where did the Queen of Pentacles go? It just reminds me of your person. It reminds me of your person here. Uh, Aries, it's interesting because I feel like this person did teach you a lesson. Sorry, I just saw a big fat orb. <laughs> 
was like, oh shit, that's a big one. Um, sorry, that was so cool. I wish I could have seen that like longer, but anyway, they never last too long. So Aries, you this person did teach you a lesson. This person definitely taught you a lesson about emotional relating and how to stay grounded in emotions. I think that's why you're able to recharge after this event. And it's really made you think, it's made you reflect on this person and who they were in your life. And for some of you, like I said, it's, oh, that's so cool, I got saw another one. Um, for some of you, it's about many people in your life, your friends and your family. And, and it's almost like being in the trenches like that and being away from them, in a way, it kind of made you realize like what components of them are important to you, right? What components of those relationships are important to you in life and moving forward and what and, and components of yourself that you want to integrate into your being and you're doing that that's awesome see Aries. so i love this because eventually it seems like you really do learn the lesson here you learn the lesson here so some of you <coughs> sorry let me get some more water mm. Mm. i was just checking for more herbs anyway aries um, some of you might actually be tempted to go back to this person once this is all said and done. Because I definitely feel like it was strategic. Like, let me deal with this shit, then I'll go back and deal with that or them or my emotional self. But for those where you had, like, one person in particular, especially if it was, like, a romantic interest of sorts, I can feel that want to go back to them, right? Matching in the colors, matching in their vibration, matching in their energy. Like, hey, this is over. This is done. Can we try this again? Let's try this again. And I got to say, a lot of confidence. A lot of confidence. You're ending the situation with a lot of confidence in yourself. And I love that. Some of you newly integrated those parts of yourself that needed to be integrated. It's a battle, but you know what? It's it's kind of ending in a good place. It's ending in a good place because you're winning. Even if you feel that bittersweet loss of this person, you learned a lot. You learned a lot. And some of you are going to try to go back to this person to join in on your new cycle, to join in on your new abundance and your new opportunity the thing that is yours, that Ten of Pentacles energy that I kept picking up on, okay? Overall, we have Squirrel Spirit. <laughs> Believe in yourself. 57, that breaks down to a three. What did I say about confidence? Focus. This is a very confident energy. Aries, you stayed confident through this battle because you knew you deserved it. You knew it was yours and you knew you were going to win in the, in the end and you do. You do. You win and you get your whole new cycle. Even... If it's a little bit bittersweet, some of you are still going to try to recoup those losses, man, and go after this watery person to join in on your new endeavor. And if you're doing that, you're doing that with confidence. If you're lacking that, just be confident. You'll be fine. These two cards together, these two cards together just scream confidence. Oh, oh. Sorry, I think something just touched my arm. Anyway, these two cards together just scream confidence confidence Aries you know what to do you got this you got this just don't sit in this bittersweet energy because if you want if this is if this bittersweet energy is about just a person in general like one person in particular just go after them if you really want them and you feel really regretful that you missed an opportunity with them go after them go after them okay all right Aries I hope you guys enjoyed that <laughs> this was cool this was kind of a f actually i like the way this ended i like this way this ended uh don't forget to check out patreon instagram facebook and twitter and i will see you guys later namaste